Hi, you guys. Welcome, welcome back. My name is Carrie Penny. I am the Happy Crafty Homemaker, and today we're going to be unboxing August ALC September Yarnable. So, September 2024. Yahoo! Coffee mandatory. We're still pretty early in the day. So first off, we're going to hit the Yarnable here. Since this is August Yarnable, I do have an extra special little gift, tiny, tiny gift down here at the bottom. We got a little zipper notion pouch, which I love mesh bags. We circle back to this a lot, but I do love mesh bags. That one will definitely be used as a notions pouch. We also got a little mini composition notebook. Like I tell you guys all the time, I am 100% an analog girl in a digital world. I make notes. I am the queen of post-its. There are sticky notes all over my house. And then we also have a little stitch marker. I keep trying to angle this light. I'm still not very good at getting my lighting right. I keep trying to angle it so I can not have glare on my glasses and not have glare on anything shiny. And I'm still not doing, still not winning that. That. Oh, well. So my birthday prize is this super cute mini. Once again, we're perfectly in the Kiri color palette. Go surprise, you know, surprise. It is Nikki. Uh, so it says, uh, birthday happy. This is 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon on the Lush Sock Base, 87 yards, 20 grams. And there's a little happy birthday sticker. But once again, I always say Nikki is my color soul sister. Uh, we very much have a very similar color palette. As I've told you guys before, I do 100% pay for these subscription boxes out of pocket. These are my subscription boxes. Um, but I love them both very much. They are super mega awesome. So this month is butterfly themed, if you couldn't tell by the uh, stitch marker there. And once again, now I know we have to have some amazing matches to go with this this month. <laughs> I'm, I'm doing 99% better. I feel 99% better, but there's still that just a little bit of from the cold. Anyway, loving this month. And I am not sure what I'm going to do with the mini yet. I do have a place for all my 20 gram minis though. So that will go to the 20 gram mini spot. That way I know where I'm going to find it because if I put it in with my ALCs and my yarnables, I will never find it again. So on to this month's yarnable. Sorry for the crinkles. I should have taken this out of the big bag before I started the video. Sorry. We shouldn't be that noisy again. So we got some adorable bag clips. I wonder if you can tell what the theme is this month. I do go through a lot of these types of clips here at the house. I use them um, to hold, like I have a lot of clip. I am a pin snob, but I am a pin snob for how my tip writes. So a lot of times like my clipboard can't hold a pen. So I will use these to either hold my pattern down if I'm going to be traveling with it or to hold a pen. So I will put like one of these on the bottom of my clipboard and then I can slip my pen in underneath. I know that sounds ridiculous. I am just a little extra. Analog girl in a digital world. We have my favorite paper crafting uh, organizing bag there. First time ever, you guys. Just say, first time in any of these subscription boxes. We have a low carb wheat free treat. <laughs> so this is a four grams of sugar, 
cinnamon apple mug muffin kit. It says it's keto friendly and ready in minutes. And it's got almond flour, allulose, apple, coconut flour, cinnamon, uh, sodium bicarbonate, cornstarch, salt, stevia. And it's, it says, um, uh, it's got four grams of fiber, but 17 grams of allulose in it. So it's five net carbs in the packet. So I really, it's actually a treat that I can eat without potentially making myself sick. Allulose normally does not upset my tummy that much if I'm just having like one thing with allulose in it, unless there's like a candy that has allulose with erythritol. That will cause some unpleasant side effects for me, but it is a carry safe food. <laughs> So I can eat it without having to plan for problems. Uh, other thing that we got, and this is one of those, I've said it before, I'll say it again. I love Swedish dishcloths. I love the way they work. I love the fact that I can clean them. And I love the fact they seem to last forever. So I am, this is one of those Troy and I diverge on things. I am a reusable products person over paper towel person because I cannot stand paper towel shed. So the only time I use paper towels is when I'm doing the cleaning the windows and I will come in, I will use a paper towel to clean the windows and then I have an extra fine microfiber cloth that I will polish the window with. But like doing mirrors and stuff, I just use my ultra fine cloth. I cannot stand like when you're cleaning up a mess in the kitchen, generally there's like stickiness. And I don't find that paper towels effectively clean those types of things. So I love the Swedish dish cloths for just regular cleanup and maintenance around the house. So love this. This is a highly practical gift for me. Love it. Love it. Love it. Love it. And there is a paperwork to explain using a Swedish dish cloth. Um, I know, I, I know it's a stupid thing to ramble on about but I love my Swedish dish cloths. I have quite a nice collection of them now. So this month's yarn, once again, if you could not tell what our theme was, this is Appley Ever After. I love the tone of red used in this. So this is like that perfect, like Merlot color. It's not purpley. It's still distinctly red, but there's just enough of that brown to purple hue underneath it to where it makes it an interesting color. Um, I love candy apple red. Don't get me wrong. I love primary red, but this is why I say Nikki and Cheryl are very different dyers. Cheryl, you never know what you're going to get. You could get, you know, something that's in that pink aqua purple color palette, or you can get something totally bananas different. I am always in love with whatever I receive. They're very, very different, but very similar in the fact that I love them and they're very compatible with each other. Um, but I do love when Cheryl goes off on a, a play of a simple color like this, how frequently we get just such dimension it's not just the speckles, it's because this isn't brown brown, it's gold. It creates this beautiful dimension with the red. And it, because it's not candy apple red, we have that deeper pull to the saturation. I don't know. I know I sound like I'm being really weird or very particular surprise to no one. I know. But it just excites me. So while once again, red is not a color that I'm like, my favorite color is red. I'm in love. Absolutely. Perfection. So I just, once again, we have my, my classically perfectly in my color palette. We know how I'm going to feel about it. ALC and my, what a surprise I am in love. Yearnable. And wholly, wholly different color palettes for this month. So I am going to go through my baskets of my ALC and Yarnable 
see what I pull to do matches with this and I will be right back. Okay, so it has been <laughs> 40 minutes since I filmed the first half of this video. I got stopped by a phone call. Anywho, so I did something a little bit different with the pairings today. Uh, I had a perfect pairing for ALC, so I'm just going to stick with the one pairing for the ALC. And I pulled a different yarn that is not an ALC or yarnable to go along with the yarnable. So, Butterfly Beauty. This month's yarn. Absolutely perfect with Candied Mermaid Lemonade. And this is from July 2024. And Let the Good Times Roll, which is from May 2023. And it does not seem to matter in what order you put these three yarns. These look absolutely perfect together, in, in, in my personal opinion. I absolutely love these three together. And the, one, oddly enough, one of the few times this has happened, um, the perfect pairing all came from ALC. Same thing with the Yarnable. All of them are from Yarnable, except for the extra one that I kind of pulled in. Now, that's not to say I don't have other pairings going, you know, across the, the brands here. Like, this Yarnable yarn looks great with it. However, this was just too perfect to me. This is, uh, by the way, Love is Love from February 2024. I mean, it does look good as a quartet, except nothing else kind of includes the denim -y color. However, that doesn't matter when you just pair it straight with the Butterfly Beauty. So I, I just, this was too perfect to not keep together just as the threesome. So yeah, that is what I pulled together for the ALC. Now for the Yarnable. The first one I want to talk about is this is Stroll Fingering from Knit Picks in Goldenrod Heather. If you wanted to do socks and are not doing the deluxe kit from Yarnable or the sock kit from Yarnable, this would be a great heel toe cuff with this as you're playing up with that golden khaki color that is in the original inspiration skein there. This just happened to be sitting on my desk from where I purchase this for another concept. So I do have three yarns here that I pulled together. Another good heel toe cuff option would be Sinfully Delight. This one is from November 2023. But just if you wanted to pair these two together, these look really, really nice together. This one is Mossy Hollow from August 2023. Which, once again, a little bit more playing on the fallness, the more uh, burgundy undertone that this red has. Oh, well, I guess I could have just been like, hey, it looks really great with my shirt today. Uh, <laughs> that, that, that was not intentional there. I did intentionally wear fall collars, but... You know, that's a whole different thing. Um, and then the other one that I actually really like this with, but it needs more. Uh, to start a pairing set, this is How Time Flies from January 2024. So I really love how these work together. But we need something else multicolor to t kind of finish tying these together. Like this is too green. Well, that happened. Oh, I cannot get that. I was gonna say the, the Sinfully Delight is too gold. It doesn't really pull into this too well, but you can see where we've kind of got a similar, this is almost more of a lipsticky hue here. You can see it's a little bit more cranberry color, but this together with something else at least would be really nice together. So it's a start of a thing, but it's not a finished pairing. But I do really like this with the green and with the Sinfully Delight, which is what is now under my table under the bar. So that is our pairings for this month. Let me guys, let, why do I do that every single month? Let me guys know. 
You guys let me know <laughs> what you think about this month's pairings because I think you could have a lot of fun, especially if you play this up for the fall tones or the winter tones. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. I love you guys. I hope you are having a wonderful, fantastic day. As always, I look forward to seeing you guys real soon. Bye, you guys.